Hello guys, it's Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build a balanced kind of system. Yeah, just going to talk about the principles behind a balanced gaming system, and typically that, yeah, you don't typically need an i7 for gaming. Now in my machine I do have an i7, but I do do video work, and also, yeah, I do have a GTX 770. Now I will admit a 770 is not exactly a really, really high-end card, but it's, you know, £250, so it's pretty expensive and it does game relatively well. Now one thing that we're going to do is just pop up some kind of um, specs on the screen and show you guys what is, uh, you know, a balance system or and what isn't a balance system. So for example, you know, say if you choose an Intel Core i3, getting something like a GTX 980 is, uh, yeah, you, you know, you say it's the kind of bottlenecking your system where the processor won't be able to kind of keep up with the graphic card. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have a bottleneck and you're going to be paying money for that super end graphic card and it won't be really utilised very well. But however, this does work the other way, you know, say if you do get an i7 and then get something like a GTX, I don't know, a 750, you are getting a low-end graphic card and, yeah, by taking money off that processor, not spending as much and say getting an i5, you could have spent more money on the graphic card which could have given you better kind of frame rates in games. So yeah, just going to um, pop up a, a typical kind of scenario on screen, and just kind of go over, you know, just quite a few um, and kind of pointing out where you should make, um, you know, the kind of compromises and where you should kind of, you know, really look at a build and think, hmm, if I change this, then then it would be, a, you know, a better gaming PC. Now, as I said, if you're editing a video, or like I do, a processor is good because, you know, a processor does render your video at the end of the day. The faster a processor is, the faster it can render. For me, recently upgrading from an i5 to an i7, and yeah, moving from LG 1155 to 1150, render times have kind of been sliced in half, and I'm very, uh, you know, kind of pleased with, with my i7. Now, I've actually got it to 4.3 gigahertz, which, to be honest, that is pretty damn good. But yeah, I'm just going to pop up this first kind of scenario. So guys, this is example number one. This is a £1,000 system. I'm just going to go over the specs. So first of all, we have an i3, that's uh, £84. A Hyper 212 Evo cooler. An ASRock motherboard, that one's £63. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 28 gigs 6, £122. An SSD, 256 gig. A 2 drive hard drive, a GTX 980, a 4 gig uh, Strix card, that's £470. A Corsair 200R, and also a founded watt pass by by Corsair. Now first off, you might be thinking, oh my god, a 980, only with an i3. Now this is the problem with this PC, and typically if you're going to be buying a PC, you don't want to do this at all, you, you know. And as much as people say, oh yeah, your graphic card plays the game, you need to make sure that a processor can keep up. So the general kind of rule that I go by is that if you're getting a graphic card, look at its price and half that, and then that's how much you should be spending on a CPU. So the things that are wrong with this uh, PC is that this graphic card here is too powerful for the i3 to keep up. You know, it's a dual core, it does have hyper threading, but it's only a dual core 3.4 gigahertz, and that will not be able to keep up with the NAN 8C. And what you'll see actually in games is that um, if, if you actually go to something like the MSI Afterburner to see how much of your GPU is being used, it wouldn't be nowhere near 100, and that is, uh, yeah, that's kind of how you see a bottleneck in the system. So yeah, for this system, you want to change out this processor and get a processor around about uh, 200 and, uh, yeah, 30 pounds, so simple as that. In terms of the other components, they all look good, you know. I, I will say, if, if you're planning um, just to do gaming, you will not need 16 gigs of RAM. But, you know, if you want that, you know, maybe you do, you know, photo editing and whatnot, can come in handy, but typically for gaming, yeah, yeah, you can just get one uh, 8 uh, gig stick, and that's all good. I will say as well, the power supply, founded watts, um, if, if you do upgrade to, say, an i5 or an i7, you might then need to get a stronger power supply, but founded watts for this system is okay, and the good thing with PC Papica is that up here, it'll tell you the estimated wattage, and this figure here is the highest amount um, of watts that it'll pull from the system, so there we are. So moving on to example number two, this one is a £645 system, so this one's a little bit cheaper. And ironically, this one does come with an i7, this is one of the top of the line i7s um, yeah, the Haswell chips from Intel. So this processor here is £220. I'm just going to go over kind of all, all the respects, so Hyper, um, uh, yeah, Hyper 2X3 cooler there. Um, and, and a, yeah, an MSI Z97 motherboard, uh, one 8GB stick of RAM, a 2TB Seagate Barracuda GTX 750, a bit Phoenix Neos Black slash Gold, and then also a 350 watt Be Quiet power supply. Now, this system has got the, you know, kind of the opposite problem to what the first system had, and this one uh, has got the problem that you have a nice fast processor, 220 pounds, and then yeah, you only have a GTX 750. Now, in in the gaming scenario, um, yeah, this doesn't make much sense. Um, fair enough, if you want a system with an i7, that's fine by me. But if you're wanting to game and you're on a budget, you know, you want to put a system together purely for gaming, to get the best possible experience and to get the most frames, you want to be spending, um, yeah, not £200 on 
a processor and only spending £100 on a graphic card. The 750 is the lowest card, well, the lowest GTX card, so in NVIDIA's kind of series, the GTX are the gaming cards and the GT the cards that are, you know, not kind of made for gaming. Um, yeah, this is the lowest card that they do in the 700 series. So if I were you, if, if you want to kind of stick to your budget of £645, you know, you want to get a processor around about £100 and then... Um, yeah, with the extra £100, uh, pounds, uh, yeah, that you're kind of cutting off the processor, you want to put this onto the graphic card. So then you'll be getting a £200 graphic card and a £100 processor. And that, again, is still going off the same kind of um, thing that I say of getting a processor that's about half the price of a graphic card. So there we are. In terms of the motherboard, you can argue that this one's a little bit too expensive. Um, you can dip down, uh, but you know you might lose features like uh, SLI and things like that. But you know, if it, if you know you're not going to go and um, ever get a, you know a second graphic card and do SLI, then you know fair enough. You don't probably you know won't need to get a motherboard this expensive because motherboards that are expensive, that are expensive typically do have you know loads of SATA ports. The you know um, have the latest chipsets that uh, support overclocking and all that kind of jazz. So there we are. Uh, this is no system. Can I tell? Uh, yeah, can I? Get, you know, told you how to kind of optimize this one. Yet again, I do want to mention is that this uh, power supply, 350 watts, that is fine for this system. But if you are going to be um, yeah, if you're going to be upping this graphic card, you know, bigger, faster graphic cards do tend to use more power. So what you're going to do is, yeah, if you do upgrade the graphic card, you then do want a stronger pass by. I can support, you know, about 600, 700 watts. Now, onto systems that are optimized. Um, the good place to get these, if you go to my YouTube channel um, and then click on the playlists and go to the gaming PCs, uh, um, yeah, November to December 2014, they're the most recent ones I've done. And yeah, here's all the systems that I did. Hopefully you guys have watched quite a few of these videos, or you know, maybe you've just watched one and uh, yeah, you've kind of built your system around that. But um, yeah, just gonna click on one of these systems. Um, so if I just click on the thousand pound system there, just click the pause button, and then go down here to the show more and click on the PC part picker link. Now, this is the system that I configured for you guys, and as you can see, this is going off all of, of the things I generally say. So, processor, i5, £150, graphic card, £300. There we are, that's the way to go. Uh, the motherboard, £92, not too expensive, and for the RAM, 8 gigs. We don't need 16 gigs since this is a, an actual uh, yeah, yeah, build optimized for gaming. You know, we have got a water coolness build, but it's only £31, so that's kind of respectable. And yeah, we have a 750 watt power supply that is, yeah, enough for this system. This system, because it has a 780 Ti, does pull um, 453 watts um, of uh, yeah, an estimated maximum power draw. But um, yeah, having a power supply that has more watts allows it to not get hot and not to spin the fan as fast when you're gaming, which is always nice. Anyhow, this has been. Uh, yeah, um, me kind of, you know, demonstrating to you, um, yeah, kind of how to optimize the game PC. And yeah, I'm going to kind of turn off the computer and then flip back uh, to me on camera. There we are. So that's been the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you, uh, yeah, now have an understanding of how to make a balanced gaming PC. The key kind of uh, thing that I would say is that when you're uh, picking a graphic card, make sure that you've got a processor that is about half the price of the graphic card. So for example, if you choose say a GTX 770 for say 250 pounds, make sure you get like an i5, which is about half the price of the graphic card. Therefore, you should kind of be, you should kind of be okay. And uh, yeah, you are spending more money on the CPU where you don't need to be. And yeah, at the same time, you don't need to be worried about a processor bottlenecking your graphic card. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.